Hey everybody, this is Dan again with another Git tutorial video. I'm going to do a short video today where I talk about Git status. Um, and I'm going to describe Git status as sort of an estimate. Um, and I hope that's clear what that means as we get through the video. Um, but you hear a lot of people talk about Git uh, committing content, not files. And that that's sort of doesn't make a whole lot of sense at first if you're not used to version control but that also plays into this concept that git status is showing you an estimate of what it's going to commit and so uh, let's go ahead and get started i'm going to show you what i mean by manipulating some files in my uh, repo here and let's just make sure that i have a clean repo so git status shows that i don't have any changes and so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename a file using the git move command. So I'm just going to git move sphere to ball and we see it renamed in the index. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is pretend like, oh, I want another file called circle and it's similar to ball. So let's just go ahead and copy that. And so git status shows that I have a new untracked file and I can git add that file so that it also appears in the index, right? So you with me so far? So we're going to create one more file and we're going to create sphere CPP again. Now remember we already renamed it to ball CPP. So we're going to give it the same content as all three files and just copy it from circle. And if we look at git status, we now have a new untracked file sphere CPP. And I hope that makes sense to you so far. We renamed it to ball. So we told Git explicitly, hey, we renamed this file to ball CPP. And so when we go ahead and we create a new sphere CPP, Git status says, hey, this is untracked. I've never seen this particular file because I know you previously just renamed it. So what I want to show you here and guess along at home, if you'd like, what happens when I do git add sphere cpp what do you think is going to show up in the index after this command so let's find out shall we sphere cpp is completely gone from the index after doing a git add so that might be a little bit confusing if you were keeping track of what we did over the last few commands uh, where we rename sphere to ball we created a circle CPP and then we created a sphere from that circle. All these files had the exact same content. We just renamed some things. And you might be wondering, well, why is sphere CPP not showing up in the previous git status? It act like it acted like it didn't even know what that file was. And so git doesn't remember that we renamed sphere to ball and then added a new file called sphere. Git evaluates the content in the working directory to the index and the last commit to determine what Git status shows. So in other words, Git isn't necessarily aware of the context of your file operations. And so when you do Git status, it can be misleading. It's only concerned with the content itself. So Git status shows you what will be committed, but sometimes the context it shows you is incorrect or lost in translation. So let me show you another example. So I'm going to just go ahead and reset this back to uh, clean repo. So git reset hard head. Git status shows that we're clean. And so I'm going to make a new directory called source. And this is an example where we look at our files and we say, hey, maybe we want to rearrange stuff. Maybe we want to move some of our files to the source directory. So this is an example of that type of workflow. So let's go ahead and copy sphere cpp to the source directory and do git status. And so that whole directory shows up as untracked. So if we git add it to the source directory and do git status, we will see the new file sphere cpp that we copied from the sphere in our current working directory. 
So that's not very confusing, right? So let's go ahead and remove the file in the current working directory, rm smear cpp. So now the file shows up as deleted in our current working directory. And we have the new one that we added before we deleted this one already staged in the index. So let's go ahead and get rm this file as it says here. We can do this to stage the fact that we want to delete this sphere. Get rm sphere cpp. Now get status shows something that may appear confusing. Notice that git thinks I renamed the file, but nowhere in my command history did I perform a git move, which is how you specify a renaming of a file. So remember this git move command is how you specify it. And we didn't do that. We did a copy, an add, uh, an rm, and then we added that change to the index. But git has assumed that we renamed this file because it found that this file in the source directory has the exact same content that this file used to have and this file is now gone. So git is making an assumption here about what happened even though that's not actually the context of what happened. So I just wanted to show you that. It's another example. We're going to do something very similar in this next last example um, to hopefully solidify this concept. So let's go ahead and you know, uh, reset to a clean working directory. So git status shows that we're clean. And just make sure yeah, we don't have a source directory anymore. So let's go ahead and make that directory again just like we did before. And we'll cp the file sphere to that directory just like we did before. So git status shows that it's untracked still. But before we do anything about adding it, let's actually change the file real quick. So there's not much in this file. I'm just going to add a print for demonstration purposes. Write the file. Git status still shows it as untracked. Right? That makes sense. So let's go ahead and git add the whole directory, which only has one file in it. And we'll look at git status and it's showing the new file, source sphere.cpp, which remember we tweaked one line in. And then we're going to continue like we did before and we're going to rm sphere.cpp in our local directory. Git status shows that it is deleted in the local directory. And then I'm going to git rm the file just like we did before to basically tell git, hey, yeah, I deleted this locally. Let's add that change to the index. So here you'll notice that git status shows exactly what it did the last time we did this, right? Except we didn't do the exact same thing. Remember, we changed this file. Let's look at it. Remember, we added this line. So you might wonder, well, why doesn't git status show that? It's just saying, hey, you renamed this file. Nowhere does it indicate the content was different. So if git detected the rename, why didn't it also detect the content difference? And it's because the content that was in source dot, uh, uh, source slash sphere dot cpp, that's hard to say, was git added to the index and that content contained the change of the single line. So we changed the file before we git added it, before git knew anything about it. So all git really understands is the content in the file at the time it was git added to the index. And I realize this is pretty confusing. Um, so if we undo the change, let's check this out. We'll just delete this line. Remember we added it, let's delete it. Git status shows us that modification. So Git status shows that the file was both renamed and modified, but we know in our heads that it was merely renamed if you consider the changes in the working directory compared to the last commit, right? I mean, if we look at this file, 
it's exactly what it was at the top level folder. It simply lives in a new folder. So it shows that it was both renamed and modified even though your brain might tell you that it wasn't modified. So let's go ahead and back that modification out. So sphere.cpp just by doing a git checkout like it tells you to right here. And so git status, we're back to the simple rename. Of course, remember, we look at the file and we'll see that it has that line that we added. So this is, <laughs> this should be confusing to you and it's confusing to me too. I mean, we can, we can do a sanity check here, right? We know how to use git diff tool. Let's compare the version of Sphere CPP from the last commit, the head commit, to what is currently in our working directory. It shows the change. So Git is aware of this change. It's simply that Git status is either incomplete, or a better way to say that is that Git status is more of an estimate of what it thinks the content changes are but it really doesn't necessarily matter that much because git git commits content it doesn't commit actual files and so I, I hope this is sort of an informative demonstration about you know what that means and I might do another video talking about well, what does it mean to commit content versus files the first time I heard that I was like what are you talking about all my content is in a file <laughs> so uh, I didn't fully grasp kind of what that meant until using Git for several years. Um, but really, the whole point of all this, is of this whole video, is I just want to show you that Git status is doing its best. I mean, you really should just say, well, bless its heart. Because there's a hell of a lot of confusing file manipulations that any particular user could perform as they're doing development. And sometimes Git status doesn't quite look correct. And, you know, in, in this particular case, I, I would think that when I was showing you this demonstration, maybe this should say renamed and modified because that's more accurate of what actually happened. And I, to be fair, I'm using Git version 1.9.1 because that's what's in my uh, Ubuntu release. So maybe that is tweaked and fixed later on. But um, I really just wanted to point that out, that when you see Git status and you may be confused by what you see, you're not alone. And it's because Git status is really just estimating, uh, you know, under the hood really it's just looking at the content in your working directory. It's comparing it to what's in the index about what it knows contextually. And it also compares it to the last commit. And so sometimes it gets it wrong, but Ultimately, it's okay because the storing of the content itself is guaranteed to be correct, even if Git status displays uh, a weird version of how it's going to be committed context-wise. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to end that video here. And usually I summarize at the end with the commands that I taught you, but in this case, there were no new commands. So just remember that Git status is an estimate. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is Dan and I'll see you guys next time.